Senator Persh, you're recognized. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President, members of the body. It's no surprise to anyone at this point. I am opposed to LB887. Uh, expanded Medicaid under Obamacare is not the correct answer for Nebraskans, and I believe it's financially unsustainable and will not reach the goals promised. There is no measure in the bill to stop the program uh, when the uh, Washington promised uh, uh, sustaining uh, finances are unable to come through. And so uh, I would like to, at this point in time, uh, ask, uh, I, I do note that there is a, a handout that's come out from uh, Annette, uh, Senator DuBois. I wonder if she's present here on the, f oh, I'm sorry. Uh, both have similar initials. Uh, I wonder if uh, Senator Davis might yield then to a, a question or two if he's present. And I apologize for tearing you away from uh, your conversation. Senator Davis, will you yield? And, and thank you very much. I did uh, receive your handout with respect to a Washington Post article. Uh, apparently, Utah governor unveils Medicaid expansion alternative, uh, which is uh, apparently based on block grants as opposed to Medicaid expansion. Is that correct? Yes, it is, Senator Persh. In, in that method, is that substantially different than the approach that's encapsulated in LB 887? I really can't speak to that, but I handed this out because I thought it was important that a very, very conservative state like Utah, which has always relied a lot on churches to do most of the work, is now going to expand Medicaid because they think it's the right thing to do for their people. Okay, so it is, a, it is born or based on Medicaid expansion and the, the block grants? It's based on the same model, I believe, as so, some of the other states, Arkansas and uh, I think the other state is referenced in here, maybe New Hampshire, Iowa, okay. Iowa. I, well, I appreciate that. And again, I apologize for tearing you away from your conversation on this topic. But at this uh, point in time, I wonder if Senator Glor would uh, yield to a question or two. Senator, Senator Glor, will you yield? Yes. Senator Glor, with respect to, uh, you, you've spoken uh, today about the, the uh, unsustainability of the Medicaid system in its current uh, existence, is that correct? Yes, I have. Okay. And uh, with respect to uh, the Medicaid system, whether or not uh, it's expanded or not expanded, uh, you feel that the Medicaid system is so troubled that it, it, it cannot survive in the uh, long run, correct? Yeah, I think metaphorically I'd say it's in a death spiral. Okay. Whether or not this, uh, uh, the expansion occurs under, under this bill, it'll be 887 or not, uh, can those, uh, can the, the concepts, the underpinnings of uh, patient-centered medical home uh, survive independently and go forward? Uh, they, they already are um, surviving and beginning to grow some. The, the challenge for us as relates to this bill is this bill allows us to sculpt patient-centered medical homes uh, rather than the other providers who may develop them in other self-serving ways. But yes, patient-centered medical home can grow and thrive and is across the country. Okay. Well, I do appreciate that, and I would yield the balance of my time to Senator Glor if he choose, uh, if he uh, would like to use the balance of the time. Thank you, Senator Persh, and I appreciate Senator Persh's um, in engagement in an important component of this bill. 